Mr. Kate is on a mission to break it. One, two, three! Oh, oh my god. You guys did such a great job. So join us. Joey, we get it. You're really manly. Hello, our creative weirdos. Welcome back to Breaking Beach. Breaking Beach! <laughs> We are so excited. This is the series where we go over to the homes, the rental apartments of real people like you guys. You guys write in. We show up with a truckload of upcycled items, new items, items we've found on the side of the road and made pretty, and we transform your spaces. That's right, guys, and we are going to break people of their beige, and beige is not just a color. It's a mindset. You know, these people have full-time jobs, they got kids, you know, they don't got time to pull their space together. It's true, oh my gosh. Speaking of kids, guys, guess who we're about to see today? Raven and William, and she's pregnant. Hi, Mr. Kate, my name is Raven Seacole. I'm 32 years old, I'm a secretary, and me and my husband are expecting our first baby. When we bought this house, everything in the house was original from 1958. We've been working on each room, room by room. This room is going to be our nursery. It's becoming overwhelming because of all the projects that we have going on. We've got complete beige on the wall. I just really need your help in making it very, very special for our new baby. Please, Mr. Kate, come over and help me with this breaking beige project. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do a nursery. It's gonna be so fun. She's a gorgeous raven with that raven black hair. And I'm assuming William is her director. William thinks he doesn't have to be in front of the camera. He's got another thing coming for him. <laughs> and I love that she likes bohemian style because that is so well suited for a nursery. It's very magical. We won't go crazy with the colors. We'll keep it still kind of neutral, but obviously breaking their beige with some textures and some magical moments. And I think she's having a girl. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna go in and break this household of their beige. Yes. Uh, and Give us a thumbs up too. Give us a thumbs up, 60,000 thumbs up. Just thumbs it up because she's an expectant mother and she's gonna have a beautiful baby. Thumbs, thumbs up, up to for that. Babies. Breaking beige. Go. I want to yeah. see this place. Oh wow, look at this house. Is it Where over is it? here? Oh, this yeah. looks, is this over right here? Oh, this is definitely it. I recognize uh, from the video. Cool, cool. As you can see, Raven and William's baby girl is gonna come soon. So we need to pull this nursery together just in the nick of time. They have been working on this room a little bit construction wise, but as you can see, it is basically a junk collector at this point. So we are going to clean everything out and create a beautiful, peaceful space. Okay, first, my first question is, you have a compressor with a nail gun and you look like you have new door frames. Is this you? Yeah, I just did all of this. Oh, really? William! Handy <laughs> William! Wow, I don't know what we're here for. Because I need help. I'm stuck doing all these projects <laughs> yeah. and I have no time. And they don't get finished, so. Okay. Well, we're the finishers. <laughs> we need to have it be like a sanctuary for baby. Very calm. Mama, calm. Yeah. And your style is like bohemian. Yeah. Feathers, dream catchers. Ooh, I love that kind of stuff. I love so. that too. Neutral colors, mm -hmm. like not bright, poppy baby, more right. like peaceful baby. All right, project peaceful baby. Oh, peaceful, peaceful. All right, let's get in the room back. Oh, okay, not so peaceful. It's time 
time for the design snapshot. I'm gonna be using these beautiful Lick Squared images. These are the shadow box photographs. This beautiful black and white bridge shot at a perspective that just feels very peaceful. And then this forest image. These will set a beautiful tone for the textures we're bringing in, like faux sheepskin and pale pink pillows and faux flowers. I love the look of these faux flowers with faux greenery. It just has a very whimsical wildflower look. I'm gonna be using these in a DIY you'll see in a little bit. And then also some accents like crystals. Bring in some natural textures that are perfect for the bohemian vibe that we're going for in this space. Now it's time to post a sneak peek pic to my Insta story and my Snapchat. Are you guys following me on there yet? Come on, get on it. It's fun. You obviously are Mr. Handyman and you did your homework and you already primed the walls, right? Yes, sir. So we're just gonna throw some paint on that primer. <laughs> all right, here we go. Girls do the fun stuff. All right, so me and William are gonna do all the sweaty work while Kate and Raven go and have fun and do creative projects. We really want the nursery to start off with a clean palette, so we've primed all the walls and we're painting them a nice decorator's white. <gasps> oh, look it! Peaceful mom all settled in. Okay, you said feathers you love. Yes. I feel like no nursery is complete without a mobile of sorts. So I thought it would be really fun to DIY one, but like a bohemian, beautiful, because I feel like a lot of them are like kind of a little more cartoony. Yeah, oh yeah. So something a little more organic. No, I'm loving this. We have feathers galore. This is an embroidery hoop, you know, like a quilting hoop people stretch the fabric over. We're gonna just use the inner hoop. It's a good size. Yeah. And it's very lightweight too. These are those little starry light, nice. um, little twinkle lights, but they're battery operated. Okay. This thinner ribbon can be the ones that hang. I would start with the underneath layer, so I would start with wrapping all the pieces that are gonna hang first, mm -hmm. and then probably the twinkle lights, and then maybe something like this. As the finish. Or this okay. as the finishing cover. All right, have fun. Thanks. Yes. All righty, here we go. All right, so William, so this is a project that you're just gonna tackle on your own. Okay. So basically we have these wall shelves that we wanna put in the room. We'll call them vintage. Okay. AKA <laughs> used. It's all about upcycling, saving a buck, you know, sander, mask, primers over there, paints over there. Holler if you have any questions, but I think you got this. Okay, yeah, this is easy Go stuff. All right. While I leave William to work on these bookshelves to give them a brand new life, I'm gonna put together the structure for a tent that Kate wants to put inside the room. I'm using four dowel rods that we got at the hardware store, and I'm gonna drill holes into each one of them so I can secure them all together with some twine. What? What? Oh, what? 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 My gosh! No shoes. What? On the rug. I don't have dirt on my shoes. You have paint on your shoes. It's not wet paint. You put the rug out without me. It's a small rug. I didn't need you. Oh, this looks great. Right? See you. No, no. Take the long way out. <laughs> Another fun project we're doing in this space is a really easy DIY triangle shelf to hang up on the wall. I've got a long piece of one by four that I'm gonna cut into smaller sections and then using my chop saw, I'm cutting 30 degree angles on the end of the pieces with two 60 degree cuts for the top and then I'm attaching it all together with some wood glue and a nail gun. For the tent, I'm using a combo of lightweight cotton fabric and faux flowers to make it a whimsical hideaway for mama and baby to just lay in, play in, read stories in. But we need to make this secure, so I am going to nail down these fabric pieces to the base. It's gonna keep the dowels from sliding out, and I'm just gonna keep wrapping the fabric around, nailing at the top and the bottom, and letting the excess drape down around the opening to welcome them in. pliers to trim and shape my beautiful faux greenery and flowers and I am attaching them with some twine. Oh my gosh, Joey. Mm. I am so obsessed with this. Can we have one of these in our house? Raven could sit in here, but obviously this is like for baby too. I wanted a lot of texture, you know, since we're not doing like a ton of color in here. Shears plus outer curtains. Overhead, I'm installing a simple flush mount crystal light to cast plenty of dreamy brightness into the space. This is one of my favorite vintage chairs we've ever got. I mean, I can't not eat, step on the carpet. Eat, Joey. Yeah, spread up. Oh. That drum is bigger than you. So will my beat. Okay, you're the drummer in the family. I'm the decorator. 
Between the two beautiful dusty pink bookshelves, good job, William. We're placing a sturdy multiple purpose dresser slash changing table combo. I really like the clean lines, almost mid-century, and simple colors of this piece. It's a dresser and you can buy this. Yeah, and if you need to take a nap, that's your side. No, this is a changing table. I also have a changing pad cover for this and I'm gonna strap you in, Joey, while I change your diaper. <laughs> For the floor of the teepee, I'm bringing in some fuzzy rugs and some awesome straw floor pillows and then beautiful throw pillows in all different colors and patterns to just make it truly welcoming. We are hanging this industrial looking geometric light pendant over the reading chair and Joey's just swagging it up into the corner. And we'll add a filament bulb and it is going to be the perfect finishing touch. The vibe of these photos is the peaceful baby bohemian thing we're going for. I feel like this forest one should be in the middle because it's like a magical. And like it's a, also the most like colorful. She's gonna grow up wanting to be a traveler. How'd I do? Is it level? It looks level from here. Wow, first time's a charm. Wow, Joey, give yourself a big wow. Did you skip out on the twirling period in your life? Don't know what that means. Well, everybody needs to twirl and have someone clap for them. Wow, beautiful, Joey. Good job, Joey. That's how you raise happy, healthy kids. I love to add handwritten quotes in a room because I think it's a beautiful personal touch. So I'm writing, twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a mighty force you are, because I think it's the perfect reminder for a growing, powerful baby girl. And I'm gonna put it in a pink frame on this awesome shelf. Well, and then it's we'll the see. smallest dust ruffle ever. Well, Joey, it's a crip. I'm on over here, are you still going? Yeah, I'm still going. My arms aren't long enough. <laughs> Babe, look what I made. Looks nice. Isn't it perfect? You did a good job. Thanks. I, I like can't it. wait for this baby to be born. Me too. <laughs> I'm bringing in some final pieces to finish up the space. I'm placing a vintage solid brass rocking horse that I found at the flea market. It's so amazing. This is gonna go in the corner. And in front of our amazing vintage chair, I'm adding a new ottoman. And this is the perfect cozy place for mom and dad to put up their feet when it's nap time. I'm also adding some more softness with a super cozy throw blanket that has fluffy pom-poms on it. I'm hoping these shelves will fill up with toys and books and all other kinds of baby supplies, but these are just some beautiful placeholders for now. Can't wait to see what it looks this like. It. so cute. Finishing touch, thanks guys! <gasps> Amazing! So cute! Joey, look at how cute this oh, is! Oh wow! Okay, wait, I'm gonna be a baby and see how high I would want. Oh, I'm getting my diaper changed! Yes. And I want. Oh! Uh, Joey! <laughs> finishing up. Oh my gosh. We're about to see the room. Are you excited? Are you ready? I'm ready. Go so check it out. Okay. Time to bring Raven and William to show them their new beautiful space. No peeking. I got you. Tiny step down into the room. There you go. I'm gonna position you, Joey. Lead her over here. Right here. Turn. All right, ready? ready? One, two, two three. three. Open her eyes? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Wow, it's amazing. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. Oh. Wow, you guys did such wow. a great job. Like, this is my nursery. Yes. And you guys did everything she wanted. Yes. <laughs> you got it so yeah, I'm beautiful. really good. Oh, I love it. Vintage what? rocking from, horse. Yeah, from the flea market. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Oh my god, the rug. It's, it's so amazing. Soft. This is uh, it's just some like dream artwork for them. Martha's <laughs> Vineyard, Netherlands, and Washington. This is a really, really high quality artwork. So there's an artist named Peter Lick. His gallery's all around the you world. Stop. I've seen his galleries yeah. in Vegas. So he has a new company called Lick Squared. <laughs> So they hooked you guys up with those. The peaceful baby vibe. Yes, yeah. you guys definitely achieved that.
Did we break your guys' beige or what? Heck yeah. yeah, you did. It looks yeah. great. Good job on these shells, by the way. They turned out yeah. great. That's what you were painting? Yeah. yeah. We just want to say thank you, too, for like um, helping us with this because yeah. we have so much going on, working full time and yeah. coming home and doing more work. Like All of this helped us out a lot. Yeah. All right, you All guys. Right, guys. Hi, guys. So thank great you. to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Right. Too. Bye. Thank Bye. You. I don't even know what to say, but wow. I'm gonna go check out the tent. I'm gonna go sit on this chair. Yay! Oh. Oh. Getting in the truck. Getting in the truck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, that's so fun. I love them. I'm, I'm so excited for her. The baby's coming so soon. How great were William and Raven? Guys, I think that uh, we broke them of their base. I know, I think so. Make sure and subscribe. Yes. Because who knows, maybe one day we'll show up on your doorstep and you probably want to get that notification yeah, in your inbox. Well, yeah, and also we have more of these episodes coming out too. And just more room transformations in general so creative weirdos become part of our family. And let's just get creative and weird together. Good job. Good job. Love you. Breaking beige. Woo! It's Joey's favorite part. Stay in your lane! Whoa! We got precious car going here! We got some upcycled furniture in here! Ooh, what is that? No. I'm picking up more things off the side of the road. <laughs>